This is question number 14 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 13 that is probability. The question is if each element of a second order determinant is either 0 or 1. What is the probability that the value of the determinant is positive? So it is said that we have an determinant it is of second order. So when we say a second order determinant so we have a determinant which has two rows and two column. And further it is said that each element is either 0 or 1. So the determinant is formed by taking each element as 0 and 1. And further we have assumed we have to assume that the individual entries of a determinant are chosen independently each being assumed with a probability of 1 by 2. Okay so it is like this that uh, to solve this question first of all we we consider that we have a determinant like this. So it has four entries. Entry can be 0 or 1. And it is said that the entries are given to this determinant either uh, to each element of the determinant as 0 and 1 with a probability of 1 by 2. That is there is an equal possibility that uh, the element can be 0 or 1. Okay. So first of all the total number of determinant of order 2 that can be made with each element 0 and 1 would be equal to the number of ways in which four entries can be made. Okay, and because each entry can be can be 0 or 1. So there are two possible ways of making an entry and we have to make four entries. So the total number of the determinants would be formed that would be equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is equal to 16. Okay, and uh, the determinants which would be formed which can be made would be like this. First of all, we consider these four determinants in which we have 1 1 as the entry of uh, the first row okay so then the second row can have entries 1 1 0 1 1 0 and 0 0 similarly if we consider the uh, the determinants uh, having the first row 0 and 1 as uh, as the elements of the row then we can have these further four determinants similarly if we consider 1 0 uh, as the two elements of the first row then these four determinants are possible and similarly if 0 0 are the entries of uh, uh, the first row then these four determinants are possible so in this way in this manner we can make these uh, 16 determinants okay so making this 16 determinant is not necessary for this question but you should know that there are 16 determinants possible and for the uh, for the condition of the clarity I have made this determinants and secondly the, the determinants are also made so that we can check that which determinants can be having the positive value. The positive value means the value equal to 1. That is value greater than 0. Okay. So all these determinants are going to be 0 because they have a 1 row 0 and these, these and these. And so we have to uh, check for the determinants which are going to have a positive value and we can easily say that we can easily observe and find that this determinant this determinant and this determinant. These three determinants are going to have, have a positive value. Other determinants would be such they are going to have a zero value or the value equal to minus one. So there are three determinants which are possible like this. So the probability that the value of the determinant is positive is equal to three by 16, which is the required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube, HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.